Hey, what's up, YouTube? Bronick with it and a tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to process and color grade your raw images in Photoshop. So, this tutorial is for you guys who fear to shoot in raw because you don't know how to get back those colors when you're trying to do your post production. So, this is going to be a very short and straight to the point tutorial. So, as you can see, I'm using uh, a Photoshop version of 2020, and I want to first of all import my image into Photoshop so I'm just going to come right here I'm going to click open then look for uh, my image so I'm just going to click right there I'm going to look for my image right in this folder so I want the image I want to uh, retouch or try editing uh, is this very image and I'm just going to hit open and it's going to open into my Photoshop and you can see uh, usually raw images really lack colors that's why most people fear shooting in raw and they have that phobia for raw images but that shouldn't be the case after this very story so this is the image and i shot it twice at a wedding and this was kind of some preparation kind of shoot and i had to take this image just right after the makeup so i used the canon 6d camera and it is a raw file and the settings i used i used the 7200 and I shot it at 93mm at f4, uh, 1 out of 200th of a second at ISO 100. So basically those are the settings I had to use for this very image. You can see it is really sharp and it is really detailed. So usually for those that have been watching my tutorials, in camera I first of all calibrate my images. Remember different cameras have different uh, picture profiles or picture styles. So you have to know uh, the picture style you always shoot in for all your images and in order to know that uh, we have landscape, portrait, depending on the camera you're using but usually Canon has faithful standard landscape and everything. So when you do that usually in, uh, this is my interface of my camera row and I have 12.4. So in order to get back most of the colors, this is more of the very first step for color grading or adjusting or processing your images come right to the profile and look for the profile you usually shoot in because personally I shoot in Adobe landscape so just come right here and I'll click on landscape and you can see uh, the image has already gotten to look really vibrant and has those nice and rich colors like I was looking at it at the back of my screen and if at all you don't have this uh, option right here, you can simply click on the camera like icon in your camera. If at all you have older versions of camera, so it is usually right above here on the right hand side. So look for that camera calibration option and you'll have to get it in camera. So after doing so, you'll notice that uh, this was the before and after and you have gotten back those nice and very beautiful vibrant colors like we are looking at the image at the back of the camera screen but as you can notice usually Canon uh, usually has so many tint or the magentas or reds in it so before I can do anything I first of all come right to the basic adjustments right here then my very first adjustment in ad trying to retouch a raw image or uh, process it is turning down the highlights. The reason for that is because I want to get back the detail in my highlights of the image and I also come and knock down my whites too and you'll notice that I will get back the details in the image. If I told you focus right here on the dress of the model you can see that we have gotten back the details in her dress. So after doing so, I come and knock in my blacks to add some little bit of contrast into the image. And before I can proceed, now you can notice that I have so many reds in this image and I want to reduce on that. So you can come right to the tint. So we have uh, the greens on the left hand side and the magenta. So usually you can see Canon automatically put for me this tint. So I'm just going to move this towards the green side. So you have to move towards the opposite of the color that is tinted in your image. So I'm just going to move to around negative four. But as you can notice when I'm doing all this, 
as the image is turning out to be oversaturated and is the only disadvantage I hate about shooting in landscape because it tends to uh, oversaturate the images and it has so many vibrant colors. So you have to come and check on that. So I'm going to come to the vibrance and I'm going to knock down the vibrance. The reason for knocking down the vibrance is because it uh, really affects the skin tones until it is pushed to a given amount. So if at all I turn the vibrance all the way down, you're going to notice that at around a negative 22, that's when it is going to start affecting the skin tones. And when I push it all the way up at around uh, still the same value, it is going to start affecting uh, the image. So since the image is looking oversaturated, I'm just going to double click to reset that. I'm going to come to the vibrance and I'm just going to reduce on the amount of the vibrance in this image so that it can be less different from the original image. So you can see the before and the after, there is no much difference at all. So after doing so, I prefer to add in a little bit of clarity to around 4 to add some kind of details or sharpening to the image and after doing so I come to right above here if at all the image is really warm then I can come and I knock down the temperatures depending on uh, the kind of look I'm going to go in for so I'm just going to leave it at uh, this white balance because you can see it was I'm just going to reduce that so you can see I've just slightly dropped down the temperatures and cooled, cooled down the image. You can see the before and after. So you're basically getting back those nice and vibrant colors in the image. So after I feel like I've done everything and that is enough for my image, I don't usually play around with these colors. So one thing I forgot to show you guys is if at all you have so many shadows in your image, uh, you have to come and push this shadow slider but what you'll notice is when you push it all the way up you're going to notice that you're going to be losing out on the details or the blackness if at all that even exists and the beautiful contrast in the shadows of the image so we don't want that so if at all you feel like you want to eliminate on these shadows make sure you come i'm just going to reset this and just push this slightly at around eight and you can see basically the before and after you have gotten back those beautiful and vibrant colors into this image so you shouldn't be afraid to shoot for the next time you're taking your images so you can see i just made just a few sliders and you have been able to get the image to look like this so if at all you want to set to sorry save this as your preset so you don't have to go through all this hassle of doing or moving the sliders and you have maybe a starting point before you can uh, start moving any adjustments you can simply come right here and you can now save the settings and just hit save and it's going to save every adjustment that you made onto the image and you can save that so that every time you want to apply the settings to maybe the series or the images you took from this very short you can simply come back right here and click load and it's going to uh, bring back where your uh, preset was stored so basically this is an ISO of how to process your raw images and uh, color grade them in just a uh, photoshop and they have been color grading in camera raw 12.4 that is the version i've been using so you can see basically the before and after before after so if at all you have learned something from this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching for the very first time from this channel. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.